The hardest part of moving is not the process of selling your home. It's the process of actually moving. I'm proud to say that our team excels in providing systems and advice and vendor resources to help making your move as simple as possible. But if you're adamant about going at it on your own or getting the process started early, then this video is gonna be for you because I'm gonna break down the 10 or so steps that you should take to help make your move as simple as possible. Step number one is you should get a storage unit early. And the reason that's important is not just because you're gonna to have to be decluttering and packing up some things in your home, but it's to remove that clutter from your visual space. Studies show that a cluttered space will increase your stress level. So in order to make your move simple and less stressful, you get a storage container, get a storage unit, and get some of that stuff out of your way. Which brings me to number two. Consult with your realtor and stager first and foremost to help determine what things you need to get out of the way. On our team, a stager will do a consultation with you and explain to you what items you should leave in the home for staging purposes because they're visually appealing to buyers and help showcase your home and what items you need to take down, remove, and pack away. This is also a great time to determine what things you're going to be keeping and needing with you during the time that you're selling and what things you really aren't going to need until you get to your new place. So you can go ahead and start focusing on packing up those things too and putting them in that storage container. Number three is determine your animal care. It's much less stressful, much simpler selling your home when you don't have to worry about coming home, taking the dog out for a walk or packing up two cats and a dog and putting them into your car and driving around the neighborhood for an hour. If you know in advance that you can take your dog to your neighbor's house, you can take your dog to a doggy daycare, you can have your cat stay with a friend for a little while. If you have some of those things laid out in advance, it makes your move a whole lot simpler. Number four is use up your food supply or donate. Hey, it's a bummer to have to throw out food. Chances are, during this process of selling your home, you're more than likely going to be eating out a little bit more. You're going to be keeping your meals to a minimum. You don't want to cook these big, massive, aromatic meals while you're in the process of selling your home. So you're going to want to either use up your food or donate it to get it out of the way. It's one of the most problematic things to pack and move anyhow, so you might as well get rid of it or donate some of the food that you really just don't need that's been kind of stocked up in your pantry for a while. Speaking of getting rid of things that you don't need, number five is hire a trash removal company. Why do I say hire a trash removal company? Because it is so, so nice to just, you know, put a pile of things in your garage and knowing that garage, that middle of my garage is just a bunch of junk that I don't need. You pay someone to come show up, they pull all of those things that you don't need from your garage, they put it into their truck or trailer, and they drive away. It's so worth the extra $100 or so that you'll spend in doing that versus putting your stuff in the truck or the trailer, making dump runs, etc. And also, you can always utilize like a handyman service or even one of our trailers or handymans to make that even extra cost effective. You don't necessarily have to do the $100 $75 1-800 junk removal thing. Number six, pack essential supplies separately. So there are things that you will need for staging. You're gonna to wanna to leave those out. There are things that you're going to need immediately when you make your move. You're going to wanna to pack those in one box. And there are some things that you don't need for staging, that you don't need immediately, and you maybe aren't gonna need for quite some time. You should pack those in another box. It's a good idea to have the things that you need on the ready, to have the things that you'll need very, very soon in a specific space, and then to have the things that you won't need for quite some time in its own box. It might mean you have more boxes. It might mean you need more space, but it's worth it for an overall simpler and less stressful move. Hey, if you've got a family, this move is not going to be simple. Let's just face it. This video is about helping making your move simpler. Number seven is planning ahead for entertainment for the kids. If you are planning on doing open houses, you might consider planning a getaway with the kids for the weekend. If there are going to be showings on your property, you might consider setting up a movie night or dinners out for the week or two weeks or three weeks or month that your home is on the market. Having some stuff planned out with your family ahead of time will help just remove a little bit of the tension, a little bit of the stress that comes with selling your home, and overall just make for a better family experience during this time. It can already be a little bit emotional with your family for selling a home. So packing in some, some fun times 
planning ahead for some entertainment is going to overall just, just give you a better experience when you're moving. This is the one that gets overlooked by many people, which is notify everyone of your new address or notify them at least of a temporary address. And these are people like your credit card companies, your Amazon shipments, any automatic sh reoccurring shipments that you have. Maybe you subscribe to some health protein mixes or shampoo service, or you know, maybe you get some vitamins, you get stuff shipped to your house on the regular. Even if it's quarterly, sit down and take note of some of the things that you know people mail to you and that you don't want to either miss or that you don't want to forget about and have sitting on your old doorstep two months after you've already moved and maybe it just mysteriously disappears. I've heard it happen. We have clients that have moved into a new place. Luckily, we have all really good clients that have called up and said, hey, the seller has their package here. Come have them come pick it up or whatever. But it happens and sometimes you forget about those things and your belongings show up to your old house and you don't want that to happen. So plan ahead, write down a list of all of the things that you know recurring shipments that come to your home. Number nine is my favorite number, by the way, but this is also my favorite item on the list, which is hiring a moving company, or at very, very least, hiring support. If there's one thing that I could say is actually more important than hiring a, real, a professional real estate agent, it's hiring a really good moving company. Nothing at all sucks worse in the whole moving process than actually moving, and hiring a good company that is prompt that is dependable, and overall, that's just going to help you make your move. Oh my gosh, it's gonna make everything way, way simpler. So getting moving companies out there in advance, getting a feel for how they operate, what you should expect from them, is going to help make your move simple. Getting multiple estimates so you know what to expect and so there's not any surprises when it comes time to move, that's gonna make your move overall less stressful, and obviously you wanna prepare for those costs. And number 10 is move out support. So if you can't hire a mover and you just need support, think about who are the people that are gonna help you, get them kind of lined up and committed early. Maybe that move out support isn't literally heavy lifting, it's someone to watch after your cat. Or it's the babysitters for the kids. Do you have family that can, you know, grandparents that can watch the kids, you know, during your weekend while you make your move and get your new home set up and things like that. So think about the support that you might need beyond just the heavy lifting beyond the trash haul out, you know, beyond some of the vendors that you need, what other additional support? You might also just need a friend. <laughs> Think about the friend that you can call and talk to and you know, share some of the feelings and excitement that you have around moving and even some of the frustrations that you might have. If you do that, overall your move will be a little bit simpler, a little bit less stressful. So those are my 10 tips for a less stressful move. These are the 10 tips that I have utilized myself with my family for all of our moves, and I can tell you that it has made for an overall more enjoyable experience. I hope that helps you. I'm Jeff Goolsby from the Goolsby Group. It's my mission to help people win in real estate, and I really, really, really want to help you win with a simple moving experience. So let me know if I can be that guide for you.